If you expected answers coming out of Ohio State's spring game on Saturday, you didn't get many. One of the biggest questions facing the Buckeyes this offseason is who will be the starting quarterback after Dwayne Haskins declared for the NFL draft and Tate Martell elected to transfer to Miami. This spring, Justin Fields, who transferred from Georgia in January, and Matthew Baldwin have been the two competing for the job. Throughout the spring, coaches and players have discussed how close the competition is between the two. In the spring game, fans saw that it was close, but not for the best reasons. Playing for the first time in Ohio Stadium, both Fields and Baldwin had productive moments but also some head-scratching plays. Fields finished the game 4 of 13 passing but did complete an impressive throw from his own end zone that went over 40 yards in the air before it was caught by wide receiver Benjamin Victor who ran the remainder of the way for a 98-yard touchdown. Baldwin was 20 of 34 passing for 246 yards and two touchdowns but twice made unwise decisions throwing into double coverage where he was intercepted both times. After the game, head coach Ryan Day chose to look at the positives of the quarterback's performances, while also noting that each player has a long way to go. I think they both did a good job today, they both flashed at times, he said of the signal callers. Still a work in progress, we've still got work to do. But I thought they gave some of the receivers a chance at times. And sometimes it's hard when you're not in a tackle situation. Is it a sack, is it not? And you break out. Justin can kind of create on the edge a little bit, so we didn't get a chance to see that as much. I thought Matthew made a couple really nice throws down the field, but we turned it over a couple times and threw it to them, which is good for the defense. So we'll keep looking at it, but I thought both of them had positive days. What's important to remember with both of these quarterbacks is they are just a year removed from high school. While Fields, a sophomore, enrolled early at Georgia and played in 12 games for the Bulldogs, he was clearly the number two behind starter Jake Frum. Baldwin, a redshirt freshman, spent the large part of 2018 recovering from an ACL tear suffered during his final high school game. Saturday was his first college action of any kind. While we are in a time when some high school quarterbacks enter college ready to play right away, that is not the case with every player. Fields' passing game was certainly not where it needed to be on Saturday but he was limited by the touch rule which while keeping him safe, meant that his ability to elude tacklers in the run game was negated. Baldwin dealt with college defensive ends, like Chase Young and Tyreek Smith, rushing at him for the first time in his life. Spring game was not a perfect performance from either of the quarterbacks, but it was a part of the process of developing for both Fields and Baldwin. When you're in the meeting room and you're learning the offense, it's one thing to say, it's one thing to see it on film, it's another thing to do it in the 7-on-7 seven -seven where there's no rush and then when the rush is going, Day said. It's all a progression. You can't simulate all that. There's nothing you can do. You have to play the game. There's so many things that go into it. It's also important to remember that neither Fields nor Baldwin was playing with their full arsenal. For one, Ohio State's offensive line is still a work in progress, playing without starting tackle Thayer Munford, injury, and working to replace four starters. The Buckeyes were also careful about using a number of what will be top weapons for either quarterback, as players such as running back J.K. Dobbins are receivers K.J. Hill and Austin Mack were not in the game often. What's next for the Buckeyes? Make sure you're in the loop, take 5 seconds to sign up for our free Buckeyes newsletter now. Want the latest scoops and news on the Buckeyes? Try our 7 day free trial and become a Bucknuts subscriber. If you were looking for answers on the field on Saturday when it came to the quarterback competition, you didn't get any. If you were hoping that Ryan Day would provide some clarity about where the quarterbacks stand heading into the summer, that did not come either. I don't really know right now. I'm going to keep looking at it, the head coach said of the QBs. I know I keep saying that and everybody wants to know but I don't think right now we're going to make a decision on that. 
I think it will continue through the preseason. They'll keep pulling for each other and as long as that group gets stronger, that's the key.